rescue Otto, save the dinosaurs from an island that's about to explode. What could go wrong? that david heading over to drastic-pedia.com we have an article up here on the big girl old rexy herself <laughs> pretty much the full bio for uh the Tyrannosaur here the og uh or rexy as some have come to call her <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah i've always called her the easily nublar rex this one was as i mentioned one of the in the last minute one of the articles that we came up with for character for dinosaur characters and almost nothing of what I originally wrote for this article is still here because we've revamped this and extended this article just so much since it was originally published. Mm-hmm. Just look back here, a lot of, uh, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> Going back to uh, times on uh, New Blah in the Jurassic Park days, the Jurassic World days, that time in between Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom where we have Camp Cretaceous in there as well. A lot of stuff having to be updated into the article because of uh, what we got in Camp Cretaceous. And then later, post this movie, uh, Bias and Valley and Dominion. So it's um, it's a great read. There's a lot of great stuff in here, which I need to stop reading. <laughs> yeah, and the last we see of her uh, meeting meeting the uh, the family in the Dominion. Mm-hmm. For that article on the Eldest Rex or uh, many others, head over to drastic-pedia.com. You gotta be kidding me. Reading again in a minute 59. Sounds good. The minute 59 of Fall Kingdom opens with a hand reaching for the Rex and ends with Owen telling Claire to ride it like a bull. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> <laughs> as we end the last minute, a hand was reaching uh, for the sleeping Rex's snout. Uh, as it gets a bit closer on screen, we can see a watch on the wrist which confirms it's Owen's hand. I don't know if Claire would be game enough to reach over and uh, do what he's about to do, but he gives a big slap on the <laughs> nose. <laughs> well, you can also see that it's um, the G-Shock watch worn upside down That as Owen wears it. Mm-hmm. Yep, I had one when I was in the military too. <laughs> uh, but they both jump back in anticipation, uh, expecting the animal to do something to react, but it doesn't. It continues to sleep. Owen moves beside the big animal and uh, assures Claire that it's tranked. I I would have asked Zia before I left if she had access to any more tranquilizers and given it <laughs> given it more before I went in here. <laughs> because you, you don't know how much the Mercs gave it, if they even knew how much to give it. Obviously, there must be some sort of veterinarian on that team, uh, or they're mm-hmm. just administering whatever they think's right. Sure, it'd be some sort of, um, maybe not a information booklet like what Roland had for each animal, but some sort of doctor and someone from Wu saying yeah this is what the animal is this is how much to give it unless there's a veterinarian from Jurassic World <laughs> that needs a job needs a paycheck <laughs> we're paid to capture dinosaurs not capture them alive <laughs> mm. yep but uh, Owen runs his hands over the scars on her neck here feeling for a vein and those classic raptor scars we got from the first movie uh, mm-hmm. as he starts uh as Claire starts to join Owen, the Rex swings her head to the right, blocking her path, seemingly crushing Owen against the wall of the container. But uh, Claire asks if he's okay, and we get a hand rise above the animal's head with a, uh, a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Which again, now, this we... entire oh, sorry, I was going to say this entire rig here is actually a full-scale animatronic that they built for the movie that they 
built into the shipping container and it kind of it's, it doesn't have a lot of movement but it can move kind of back and forth up and down a little bit and the uh head moves in the of course the mouth roars <laughs> mm. <laughs> i remember this getting revealed by some kid who could not help himself but to take a selfie with it <laughs> <laughs> i do remember that yes <laughs> And we yeah we wondered what sort of animatronics we'd seen the 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 um like the stegosaur and that sort of standings that we get in the uh, in the cages but I think my biggest biggest issue here with the animatronic Rex we get is just originally Stan Winston they'd they'd get Crash's art they'd get uh, the maquettes and all that sort of stuff done so they could see proportions skin tone texture all that sort of thing. And then build the animatronic on top of that. Where here it, it feels more like they've done the CG renderings of the Trenosaur, which we've had all across all the marketing stuff, and then they've said, mm. "Here, make an animatronic off this." Which I'll still say the, the the CG for the Rex, for the most part, of skin just it looks too polished. It looks too uh, too plasticky in points. Um, mm. It does get improved a little bit here in this film, but yeah, that's. <laughs> It sort of hinders the animatronic here a little bit, but at least it's sort of not well lit. It's dark a bit. We do get some close-ups on the head, and I reckon the head looks fantastic. But Yeah. Um, yeah, we can dig some of those up and post them too when this man goes live. Yep. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that the sculpt here, like for the like head sculpt and everything, is the CGI anim- animatronic, or not, I'm sorry, the CGI model that has been um, basically blown to life size and um, not pr- 3D printed, but like sculpted physically. Mm-hmm. And that goes all the way to a, um, we're not going to say this minute, we're going to say in a couple of minutes time, just even the eye, it just looks so much different to what the original Tyrannosaur animatronic eye looked like when it's looking mm-hmm. through that Explorer window. Uh, yes age and that but it's mm. i remember universal in their as they are sometimes off to do actually cgi'd over the eye because they didn't think the glass eye was convincing enough so that's oh, actually yeah. why <laughs> yes and we mentioned last minute too with uh owen being there to hold blue's head down in case she uh reacted out uh this 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 tyrannosaur is a lot bigger. Her her head not being restrained. We know it was restrained. The male was restrained in the Lost World in that uh, apparatus. Mm-hmm. He was put in to go back to the mainland where he. Right out, we've knocked her out. They must have some sort of chains <laughs> chains over her holding her down. Uh, but they're just going to leave the I head. Hope so. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to get to that in a couple of minutes' time. But uh, just even unknowingly, her moving her head across here and bowling Owen over or pinning him up against the uh, the container wall again. Us fleshy humans are not <laughs> not built real strong. Mm-hmm. Especially compared to nine ton predators. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. um, Claire shimmies along the left side of the animal and tries uh, to hand Owen the needle and bag, but Owen says he can't draw the blood. He, the skin's too thick and he needs to hold it with both hands <clears> to, uh, to pop that vein out. And uh, he tells mm-hmm. Claire that she's going to have to climb over the wrecks. <laughs> and uh, Claire says she can't, but Alan jokes it's like riding a bull. And as the mid ends, she starts rambling about growing up, not growing up in the radio or wherever you come from. <laughs> 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 Which makes me think, I think the only time we've seen any humans actually ride a dinosaur is Camp Cretaceous. We don't really get it. We would have had it with Lex and the baby trike in Jurassic Park, but... Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we didn't have it there. I can't recall. I don't think there was anything in the Lost World novel that had riding either. Well, there was the petting zoo in Jurassic World. Oh, the yes. Kids... Yes. Yep, of course. I'm still old enough to ride the Triceratops. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we uh, we commented a lot during those scenes about how much we'd be scooching down to... <laughs> you must be under this height <laughs> <lot> to ride. <laughs> uh... <laughs> But um, also, unlike mammals, they there's not a lot of fat in there. That's mostly just muscle and bone and skin. 
<laughs> yes. There's not going to be a lot of padding like there would be on, say, a baby elephant. You would definitely want to settle. <laughs> yeah. Settle of some description. But I suppose, on the other hand, too, I'd... there's no way I'd want to see Owen on Blue's back <laughs> riding into a final battle scene or something, or. Because these animals, especially the carnivores, it's like they just reach around and grab you off and eat you. <laughs> That's assuming that Blue would let you. Yeah. I, I would imagine it'd be more like trying to, when you ride your dog and the dog just runs off and like, nope, you ain't doing that. Yeah. Well, even though <laughs> even though the, the raptor had its claws dug in, we've seen the Trinosaur quite easily grab, grab one of the raptors <clears throat> off its back. When, uh, mm-hmm. Although the Indor- Indominus couldn't do that when they had the big freeway fright in Jurassic World, but mm, different different story. Anything else on minute fifty nine? The novel pretty much uh, just follows along exactly the same here, so not, not enough more to add from it. No, I think we're good. Mm-hmm.